Okay, so I like running into the legends when I get out here, man. It's, it's always fun to run into a legend, a high, Ohio high school coaching legend, Dave Riggs. Uh, first off, what, what are you doing? I thought you were retired. Why are you here? What, what's going on? Huh. Well, I, I retired from high school uh, coaching and teaching. Um, so I owned a construction company the whole time, so our construction company really took off. they're doing the roar brothers i got a couple of their matches today uh one of them won in division three already right correct 65 55 pounder yep uh lincoln lincoln won. lincoln won okay i'm impressed with him i haven't seen the other product yet but you know looking at these guys uh you obviously know what you're doing and what's it like so you've done you have all the dynamics you've coached your son Right now you're coaching grandson. Oh yeah. Not a lot of people get to do that, by the way. No. What is that like? You know, obviously your son's a college coach now, mm -hmm. but what's it like coaching? You know, Ryan Riggs now coaching Lincoln. What's the other one? I don't know the other one. The other Roar brother. Mason Roar. Mason. Okay. Mason and Lincoln Roar. What's it like coaching sons and grandsons? It's uh, coaching the sons is, is difficult. Um, it's pretty tough. A lot of pressure. You know, it's just self-inflicted. So I always try to put the best guys around him and, and get a lot of help there. job in good hands but, the, oh, yeah. but I, I'm hearing that job might open up again it is oh yeah cars are going to Ames right yes. both cars are going to Ames yeah. um, it's going to be open are, are you in on that process are you in on where that program goes next I mean you've built that from the bottom up from no state champs to four four champs and a team title over St. Ed's in 14 2014 I believe it was yes uh -huh. do you feel like it's where, where does it go next and do you have a say in that well, uh, I did talk to the superintendent. Uh, he wants to have you know, keep the program status up as high as it will go. And um, there's some good guys in house there. Uh, I suspect one of those guys are going to take it uh, right in house. So you probably just keep it in house. They do have some really good coaches. You're right. Uh, they have some really good coaches. I like a lot of those guys, and a lot of them are D1 experienced guys and have wrestled at the highest level, won yeah. state titles. And I don't know if that always makes you the greatest coach, but it doesn't hurt. Well. Uh, they can work out with the kids. Um, they give them great looks. So that, you know, right now they're all good coaches. Sometimes you get a good coach uh, that never, wasn't that good of a wrestler, you know, but you know, we're pretty grateful there. OAC, first class organization, probably the toughest tournaments in, in the Midwest, I'd say, for a junior high association oh, yeah. and a middle school, grade school association. What's it like bringing your kids, and you've been doing this for over a decade with OAC, what's it like, what's this organization like? Well, uh, it's a great organization. Uh, they're well organized. Um, the best interest is with the kids. Um, the facilities they pick is fantastic. I have zero complaints. No complaints. Um, the officials here are really good. I mean, they're on it. They're on top of it. OAC is, is some tough wrestling. I never thought I'd be coaching high school kids this hard. Uh, showing some of the technique that we're doing. Um, you know, we're going to Pennsylvania quite a bit. And uh, you catch some of the top guys in the country, you know, these two states, with youth kids. So it's like, how far do you go? Our main goal is just to develop, help them out, but they want to win, so we just keep escalating the technique, and wow, these kids are on it. Having Dolph. I, I, Brian Dolph is just one of the greatest minds in wrestling. To me personally, maybe I'm maybe I'm overblowing that, but I, I think he's incredible as far as a technician. I mean, look at the guy who mentored him, and look at the guy he mentored. I mean, he's, he's a sandwich in between Dave Schultz and Brandon Slay. That's not bad, you know. And, and, I mean, he mentors a guy that beats him to get on the Olympic team and win the Olympic gold medal. I, I think it says a lot about the person he is, right? What's it like working with that guy? You you know, you've always been dealing with Dolph for, for 20, well, 25 years. Dolph's senior year in high school, I was his workout partner. We go way back. Uh, but more so than anything, he's doing a really good job. I mean, he's made some personal changes, and uh, he's a fantastic coach. You know? um, all of our coaches, uh, we compliment one another in the room. Um, nobody's stopping somebody saying, we better not show that. I mean, the quality we have is just incredible. Okay, let me 
me tell you this. His kid's winning 11 uh, nothing with five seconds left in the, of a restart. What's he do? Does he try and ride the guy out? He goes for the tech fall and gets it with five seconds left. Oh, yeah. Would that be indicative of what you guys are doing there? Uh, that's our mentality. You, you should see how hard we work. And these kids work. Uh, it's pretty, pretty intense. Uh, you know, uh, most of the kids can do front flips, back flips. They're athletes. Um, but we're training it on a daily basis. And this is only our third year starting the club. And it's incredible how these kids have improved that much. Um, they, they try hard. We work hard. I've never questioned that about Perry Russell or anything <laughs> Dave Riggs does. Yeah. All right, you got some kids you're coaching. You got anything else for me? Uh, no, really appreciate you being here. It's just a great opportunity for the kids. And even uh, the parents, are, I mean, it's just everything's friendly. It's, it's uh, healthy, really healthy environment. And I um, appreciate the OEC job they're doing, too. Dave, thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys. Yeah, thanks a lot.